Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your stopper and your blank fit perfectly every time with a couple little tricks. Let's get started. All right, I have my blank here in the chuck. It doesn't matter what jaws you use. You can use whatever ones you want. I just happen to have these on the chuck. I have a piece of maple in here for my blank. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a Forstner bit to start out with. So I did a video on doing the threaded inserts a while back, and David left a comment on there showing or explaining how to do this. And it will clean up. He's been doing it for quite a while. Works perfectly. So he uses a Forstner bit, a little bit bigger size than whatever he's doing. I, I'm going to do a larger size for, for a bottle opener on this one just to kind of show you. But you can use whatever size you want, whether you're doing a stopper, pizza handle, um, or a bottle opener. Use the Forstner bit first. Get it all centered up here. And what this is going to do is create that flat spot on it so that your stopper and uh, blank fit on there perfectly. Turn the lathe speed down so it doesn't burn it. Everything's set up there. So what it's going to do is putting the point in for the center and then it's going to cut a nice flat spot on there for your stopper, opener, pizza cutter to sit on. Don't need to go in very far. Just went in there just a little bit. Pull it away. Now you have a nice clean surface. It also puts the center hole in there and we're going to switch this out. He mentioned too that he has two Jacob chucks, one for the Forstner bit and another one for the drill bit. I don't have two of them, so I'll swatch it, switch out real quick and put the drill bit in. lining up everything everything is still lined up don't take it out of the chuck leave it right there I have it marked right on there for the the depth I want to go same thing leave the lay speed down your drill bits already lined up with it with that hole Drill in down to your depth. And you got one more little trick after this. Alright, there we go. Put that all down. And Joseph left a comment on the same video. He saw what David said and he gave another little tip on how he does it, which is really cool. So I have a 3 8 inch bolt here. I just cut off. He suggested putting it into the Jacobs chuck. Going the wrong way, I think. There we go. Just like that. Tighten it on there. And then you take your insert and thread it right onto the bolt here. And you press it right in that way. That way it keeps everything lined up and you press it right into it. I'm not going to go all the way because I don't have glue on it, but you can press it right in the same way that you do with the cone. But this way you'll, you're leaving the Jacobs chuck on there. It's a pretty quick process. Um, like I said, David had says he has two of the Jacob chucks, which work, would work make it a little faster, but Thanks so much, guys. Um, if any of you, if you know Ruth, she loves to get feedback from people. A lot of the stuff on her website is her you know, tips and tricks from from her customers. So I really appreciate the the comments, and I love that. Both those little tips work fantastic. All right. I hope that helped and with just a couple little tips like that you can get a perfect fit every time and again th big thank you to David and Joseph those are fantastic tips to getting a perfect fit on it and easy way to to put the inserts in so I really appreciate that all right again I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments or want to see something else any questions please leave a comment below and I will get to it as soon as I can or if you have any other suggestions on better ways to do things or if I put a video out where where you think you know might be a better way to do it please let me know I'd love love to uh, get your input all right take care